Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have a huge Goodwill outlet bins thrift haul to share. This is everything that I found a couple weeks ago at the Houston Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill bins, where we pay $2.19 per pound. And I have two huge Ikea bags here. I think I have around 65 items. I probably paid around 120 to 130 ish, I would say, for everything. And let's go ahead and just get into it. I do, ha I should have everything listed by the time this thrift haul goes up. If you guys are curious about what I price anything for, or if you want to, you know, just see the piece a little bit better, I will have all the listings up on my Poshmark closet and I will leave the link for that in the description down below. So let's go ahead and get started with shoes as always. First off, we have these Ugg clogs. Actually, I think I found, this was, yeah, this was the only item that in this entire haul that I found at the Family Thrift Center outlet. This accident, accidentally got mixed in. So this was from the Family Thrift Center outlet. I paid $2 for these and they are Uggs. They're a clog style, a suede upper. They have this genuine shearling fold over detail. They are convertible so you can just have them be a you know long uniform boot if you'd like. But the shearling goes all the way into the boot and then it's on the insole near the toe area as well. So very cozy shoes here. These are a size eight and a half, I believe, or maybe a nine. They do have the UGG hologram, which is good for authenticity. They're size nine, and these are in excellent condition. This is the bottom sole, so very happy to find those. I'm expecting those to sell for around $75 probably. Next, okay, so everything from here on out, I did pick up at the Goodwill outlet, so next, these are a pair of genuine vintage Prada shoes made in Italy. These are so beautiful. The upper is silk and it's in this geometric print. You have kind of a block heel here in back. And if you look at this bottom heel, it is going strong. These are in great shape. The fabric upper, the silk fabric upper does have a little bit of discoloration to it just because, you know, silk is such a delicate fabric. They probably rubbed up against something, but I mean, these are so cool. I could definitely not leave these behind. These were actually a go back. I saw someone kind of looking at them and and a couple people picked them up. They all ended up throwing them back. So I had to get them for sure. This is the sole. It says Prada, size 38, made in Italy. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna price these for. I still have a few listings to get up, but yeah, I'm sure around the $100 mark just because they are vintage Prada and they do have some wear, but they're still amazing shoes. So last pair of shoes are these Zara Trafalic little kitten heel velvet mules with a bow on the toe. Super cute, pointed toe. Here's a little kitten heel. Again, this heel has like little to no wear to it. I always look at this heel cap to see how much has been taken out. And there's pretty much nothing taken out. So excellent condition and you know these kind of trendy shoes from Zara seem to sell really well. Some of them can be blogger favorites, which just means that, you know, bloggers have worn them and taken very kind of Pinteresty pictures with the item and it typically does help it sell better. Blogger favorite is, they are keywords that you can put in your listing. Okay, just a few accessories here. We have this scarf. It's like a little infinity scarf that you can kind of bunch up and wear around your neck. And I picked this up because of the material, also the condition, it's in great shape. So this is the tag, Juliet 
Ozuf Paris. It's 67% super kid mohair and 5% extra fine merino wool. It's very soft and luxurious. This would be great, you know, a great practical item to just kind of keep your neck warm and also add a nice little layering statement to your outfit. One belt. I just thought this was so cool. It's genuine leather and it has these roses in like a silver tone metal with the chain link between the roses and all the accents are genuine leather. I It has no size or brand markings, but I measured it and it measures pretty small. I think it's like an extra size. I think it's like an extra small or small waist belt. So I will include all that info in the description. We have a vintage Victoria's Secret bodysuit or teddy. And this is like a satin fabric with a little lace up lace trim in front and the back actually has this super sweet little bow tie at the back really pretty like a little chiffon ribbon and let me show you guys the vintage victoria's secret tag this is definitely a tag to be on the lookout for it's their gold label which is vintage and it's 100 percent polyester size medium that will probably sell around 35 or 40 dollars the vintage stuff from Victoria's Secret does very well. Okay, getting into clothing now, we have a lot of items. So first piece is this Banana Republic Teddy Sherpa jacket with some moto style details, like this little closure at the neck. This could be like a mock turtleneck. And it also has faux leather accents at the shoulder here as well as going down the zipper so a really cozy piece size small i don't always pick up banana republic but teddy jackets uh sherpa stuff has been very trendy and i thought that was a pretty substantial piece next i had never heard of this brand before for the republic but i did a quick google search when I was at the bins and I saw that it was sold, I wanna say like Neiman Marcus. I think it's like a Neiman Marcus house brand. I could be wrong on that, but I think it's pretty mid tier. However, I loved this sweater, so I picked it up based on style mostly. It's like a, almost like a tiger stripe at the sleeves and then a leopard cheetah print in the body. No size tag, no material tag. I believe I saw that it is a wool blend though. I looked it up and found a similar one. So yeah, had to get that. Next we have a vintage t-shirt. I love finding vintage t-shirts. It's like a graphic of a man fishing, struggling to bring his fish in. And the back says Bass Busters Lounge. And then this used to this used to be the number 10, but half of it came off, but that's fine. It just adds character to a fun vintage t-shirt. So this is single stitch. That was the biggest clue that it was vintage. It's also paper thin and this kind of stuff sells very well. I put all the vintage keywords in the listing and people will find it just by searching, you know, vintage single stitch t-shirt and, um, just, you know, being on the hunt for cool vintage graphic t-shirts. Okay, next we have a men's item. This is an Under Armour windbreaker jacket pullover. It's hooded, and this is actually new at tags, size large. So this is definitely a solid pickup to go in my men's closet. It says it retails for $60. So I'll probably list it around 35. A pair of Citizens of Humanity jeans. These are velour velvet jean black skinny style. And these are actually the Rocket high rise skinny. The specifically the Rocket style from Citizens of Humanity sells very well. I think it's very popular. I think a lot of people have, you know, their favorite jeans is 
the rocket style from Citizens of Humanity, so I do keep my eye out for it. And these were in great shape. I think these were a size 27. This is a really nice piece. Again, I don't pick up all Trina Turk, but I could not leave this behind. It's a 100% silk, kind of like captain poncho situation dress, and it has this really vibrant paisley color on the outer. It does have an attached lining, which is really great. A size medium large, it also has this really cute little self tie at the chest with a tassel detail. So very, again, very substantial piece here. Lots going for it with the silk fabric, the print, the size, the condition. And Trina Turk is a very reputable, nice brand. I think, you know, you just have to make sure the style is there and it has some sellable features going for it. Next we have Rails. Again, I have gotten kind of picky with this brand, but I really like this print. It's like a stars and striped stripes print. It's also super lightweight. I probably paid about a dollar for this at the bins. It's a size small. American Eagle. And this is the reasons that I picked this up were it's the newer tag from American Eagle can see that and the print it's like a very 90s y2k style print with this little daisy floral print it's a midi dress which midi length has been very trendy it has side cutouts it's the belt was still attached and it was in great shape so for all those reasons I did want to get this it's a size extra small this would be adorable with just some Doc Martens. Another piece for my men's closet. I had never heard of this brand before, but I could tell that this top or this shirt was high quality when I picked it up. It's like a thick linen material. It's 100% linen. And again, I just absolutely love this print. I'm definitely a sucker for novelty prints especially with animals, birds, uh, tigers, anything really animal printed. And these are parrots, super cool. It's also a size extra, extra large. So yeah, great pickup there. I got this little top just because it was lightweight and it looked really trendy to me. I figured I could model it. It has the square neckline, cropped fit, velvet, Again, I will be putting 90s, Y2K, all the keywords for that. Next up, we have a t-shirt dress from Madewell, a little striped t-shirt dress. I think the style name of this is called like the striped retreat dress or something. And basic t-shirt dresses like this from Madewell have sold pretty well for me in the past. I would say consistently for 25 to $35. And you know, the striped print kind of elevates this piece a little bit. It's a size extra small, and it does have like a contrasting darker stripe to the lining. So, if you roll the sleeves, you know, that can kind of peek out. Another little piece of added interest these are American Eagle shorts, and I don't think I would have gotten these if they were not new at tags, but this is actually the tag. It says vintage high rise festival shorts, size 14. They're a bigger size and you know, they have all the distressing. So some marketable features there. I've actually sold this sweater before in my closet. I ordered it from ThreadUp and I found it again, which was exciting. It's this really fun orange V-neck sweater that has a great fabric makeup. This is cotton, nylon, wool, and mohair. And I did model this the first time that I sold it, so I will just add that picture to the listing that I make for this sweater. This is Isabel, oh, I didn't show you guys a tag on this. This is a brand that is sometimes sold at Anthropology. 
Actually, it might be an Anthro exclusive brand. I don't think I've ever seen a piece that was not sold in Anthropology that had this tag, but I could be wrong on that. But that sweater was definitely sold at Anthro. Same for this. This piece or this brand is Isabella Sinclair. And I do not believe that this brand is always sold at Anthro, but this piece specifically was. So that's the tag. It says Is Isabella Sinclair, size small. And I just thought this was really cute and feminine. I love the stripes with the little ruffles as well as the keyhole back with the tie closure. And then in the front, it has a little side button detail. So lots of, lots of, you know, fun little quirks going for that top. This was another really nice substantial piece. This is a Bowden jacket. Let me unzip it a little bit. So it's a cream color and then the lining as well as the zipper are like a chocolate brown. And I looked for stains and flaws on this jacket for a long time at the bins. I never found any, so I definitely had to get it. It has pockets in front, has a hood, really cool. And it's a great size, it's a size 10. I think this might be a little bit of an older tag from Bowdoin, but you know, the condition was great, so that's, that kind of overrides the fact that it's an older tag. And you know, the style definitely is still trending. This is a great practical piece. So definitely have to get that. We have more leopard print here. These are, again, just Banana Republic, but they did have a lot going for them. They're a size 12. They are all over leopard print. They're a little bit longer length, so I can add some keywords in my listing to discuss how they are a longer length because some people search specifically for longer shorts. Next, we have a little Free People bodysuit. It's just a plain black t-shirt. Then the bottom is a bodysuit. So, you know, this is a wardrobe staple. You can throw this on with high-waisted jeans and you know your t-shirt stays tucked in obviously because it's a bodysuit this is the intimately free people line and it's a size large next we have a maxi dress from billabong and this thing is really pretty it has a really pretty floral print and bell sleeves i don't know if i've ever actually sold billabong before but with the maxi length, the true wrap style, as well as just the super boho cut and style of this dress, I could not leave it behind. I think this will sell super well just based on, you know, a lot of factors. It's a size medium. Next, we have a pair of American Eagle jeans. This is exciting for me. I don't really find too many um, plus size jeans that are in excellent condition. I'm not sure why, but these were size 24 regular and they are in great shape. The, they are the super high rise jegging, which is a really trendy uh, style of jean from American Eagle. So again, we have a great wardrobe staple for someone. So I'm always happy to find and include larger sizes in my Poshmark closet. Michael Starr's little chambray striped button down dress. Really cute. This is a great versatile piece. You could, you know, roll the sleeves and wear this with sandals in the summertime or wear the sleeves long and wear it with booties. Michael Starr's. This is another brand that is sometimes sold at Anthro but definitely not always. I don't know about this piece. It's a size medium. A trendy pair of J brand jeans. And again, I don't pick up all J brand, but these are a high rise. They have the manufactured whiskering, which are these lines here. Lots of distressing, the frayed bottom hem. And so they do have quite a bit going for them. I did want to get these specifically. 
They are a size 28. Next, Adrian Vitadini, which I do see pretty often uh, and I do not get it, but this sweater is 100% cashmere. It's that kind of cowl turtleneck. It's, it's a cowl neck um, sweater. It's in great shape, no holes or pilling, and it's also in a nice neutral color. So again, we have a great closet staple here. The cashmere definitely elevates it. If this were 100% acrylic, I definitely would have left that behind, but I did pick that up, model it. It's a size extra small. Rag and Bone, a great brand to find. I love Rag and Bone personally. I have several of their jeans. These are size 26 in the 10 inch skinny style. Just a black basic pair of jeans. And then you have the logo uh, embroidery on the back pocket. Little cropped anthropology sweater here, super soft. This actually isn't um, any great fabric. I thought it would be maybe like a wool or alpaca blend when I first found it because it is so soft, but it's just viscose, polyester, nylon, and elastane, but that's okay. The brand and the style will carry this piece. It is their house brand by Anthropology, size extra small. A really pretty jewel tone color. It kind of sits a little bit lower on the shoulders. Speaking of sitting lower on the shoulders, this is an off shoulder little cropped top. And this is from Zara, Zara Woman. It's 100% linen, size extra small. And again, with this neutral color, I did want to pick this up. I thought this would be, again, just a great kind of basic to have. You could throw this on with black jeans, uh, blue jeans, anything really. You could even wear that with a skirt and some sandals. Some workout leggings here, which I don't find too often. And when I do, they seem to be not in the best of shape. So I was excited to see that these were in excellent condition. They are sculpt knit made by Fabletics and they're a navy color. They feel very supportive and almost like compression. They have little cutouts going down the outer part of the leg and they do have pockets that are pretty big. You could put your phone in these pockets one on each side, so that's really nice and handy. Trina Turk utility style jacket. I thought this was so cute. It's an army green color. It has, it's the cargo style with all the pockets and it has a contrasting orange stitch throughout as well as a contrasting kind of accent lining. So you could wear it just kind of as a you know regular green or regular army green color jacket or you could flip everything around and have this vibrant collar as well as sleeve lining so kind of versatile here if you want to make this a super fun piece or more of a basic it has the drawstring again with the orange so yeah super cute piece size small Another athletic item here, we have an Adidas purple zip-up jacket. And I, I, I picked this up because it was in excellent shape. Again, I don't find too much athletic wear that's in great shape. It has thumb holes and I was thinking this might be reflective, but I don't think so. It's like a um, mixed media panel in the back as well as on the sides. So just a nice little like training or running jacket for someone. It's a size small. Actually, this is Adidas Golf, I believe. I, I believe this signal here means that it is a golf item from Adidas, size small. Next, I just grabbed this because I was at the bins. It's super lightweight. And this is the newer Theory Tag. If this were the older one, I would have left it behind. 
but newer tag and it being a great basic i guess that's the theme of this haul as well as the fabric content it's 50 percent pima cotton and 50 percent modal so those are definitely more luxurious fabrics great shape great to add you know it's it's nice to buy basics on the secondhand market because that shirt was probably 65 dollars from theory and you know i'll probably list it for 20 25 dollars next cabby this is their newer tag with the square shape and i am pretty picky with cabby these days but this is a size extra large and it's plaid we are moving into colder weather so i think there will be more of a demand for this type of shirt so did want to get it i really like the bottom hem it has a little ruffle detail okay this brand is a definite bolo be on the lookout for it is jonathan simkai and it's white writing on a white background so i'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see this very well but it does say jonathan simkai if you want to google that to get a better view of the tag these are size two and i believe these are kind of a signature style pant from this brand so that's exciting sometimes you find a designer but it's just a really kind of obscure type of piece but this style pant looks like it's like a signature pant from the brand they're a satin pant with this slit about halfway maybe a little bit over halfway two-thirds way down the leg um, to kind of show off your shoes and have just a little pop of um, you know flair and interest so yeah they're in great shape and i was very very happy to cross this brand off my bucket list i believe those retailed for around six or seven hundred dollars so very expensive next we have yet another men's item i have been loving listing in my men's closet i know i've been talking about it a lot but items sell very well over there and you know i try to pick up only super substantial items that i think will sell quickly and it's been going pretty well so far so these are nike thermofit size large pants and i forget what the style name of these was called nike does have a tag on the inside that has style numbers you can just type the style number in and the exact style of pant that you have will come up i think they're called like the thermosphere or something but a lot of these have resell resold for around 65 dollars on poshmark and they were not in good condition really at all these are in excellent shape they don't look like they were really ever worn they're like a really thick feeling almost like neoprene feeling material zips at the bottom ankle and so with them being in great shape as well as being a size large i think these will probably sell for around 75 dollars that, that would be my guess so very happy to find those they seem like they are for you know if you're working out in a very cold climate or if you just want to have some very warm pants to wear okay on to our second ikea bag now first piece is this free people floral lace pullover sweater in a cream color very oversized fit this is sized extra extra small so kind of crazy um, this would be really cute to layer with just because it is kind of semi sheer just the very classic free people tag there okay i just picked this up um it was a slow day and i wasn't finding much this does kind of break my rule because it the brand really isn't anything it's just gerard works which is i'm assuming just a vintage brand um, but this is 100 percent acrylic so you know if there's no brand i typically like to have a combination of good material as well as style but i really picked this up only for the style because i liked this kind of higher neckline with the little slit and the colors so you know typically i wouldn't grab this but like i said it was a slow day at the bins and i think i can still sell it 
I probably wouldn't make a habit out of picking up 100% acrylic sweaters that don't have the brand to carry them, but I think this should sell. I'm going to model it and it is a size large. Okay, so kind of opposite to that. This is also a vintage sweater. It's from Lord & Taylor Two Ply Cashmere. Um, so I did get this because it is cashmere. So this, you know, has style going for it with the turtleneck, trendy chocolate brown color, and, you know, a central kind of sweater cut, as well as the cashmere. So this is a better example of what I like to pick up when, you know, I'm not, when it's, when the brand isn't really there to carry it. So Lord & Taylor, size large. This was a pretty exciting piece. I had never heard of this brand before. I tied it for the video so you guys could see how it fits. Okay, let me show how it fits first because it's kind of hard to keep it like this. <laughs> so it wraps around, the, this tie wraps around you a couple times and then, well, I don't think I'm gonna be able to show it, but I'll include a pic um, showing how it's supposed to fit, but this, wrap or this tie is supposed to be in front but I saw it in a bin and I saw this tag Karen Callahan and I saw that it was embroidered the tag that combined which is kind of the overall look of the font as well as it being made in USA it's like this minimalist construction kind of contemporary uh, cut and you know the fun detail with the tie i knew this was probably something pretty good and this shirt i believe it originally retailed for around 225 dollars it definitely was around that 200 dollars mark so i'm definitely glad that you know i was keeping a lookout for interesting looking tags. That's kind of, you know, there's a lot of factors that kind of indicate that this is a good piece. Like I said, the tag, the print, the style, the cut. It's also made in USA. That's a great indicator. So, you know, always try to be on the lookout for, expect the unexpected, I guess you'd say. Next, we have a Nation LTD tie-dye t-shirt dress just a nice like lightweight slub cotton tie-dye has been huge pretty much always i think it's a timeless print at this point nation ltd is a pretty good brand it's like updated basics some of it is sold on revolve and shop bop this is a size large made in peru the edges have distressing to them you can just tell there's a lot of um kind of there was a lot of thought put into this piece. So yeah, love that. Another utility style jacket. I believe the person that donated the Trina Turk, the Trina Turk jacket also donated this one. I found them together. It's made well, and this is called the fleet jacket. Again, it's like that cargo style army green utility jacket. And I think these are like a fall staple for a lot of people. Sometimes people will have one that have one that they own and they will kind of wear it out because it is a closet staple and they will go on the resale market to get another one. And this one is in great shape. It's a size small, lots of pockets. Again, you have the drawstring inside to kind of cinch the waist and make it more flattering. Okay, so these are kind of an interesting story. They're Abercrombie and Fitch, which I definitely shy away from most of the time, but, and they were unbuttoned and unzipped when I found them in the bin. So I wasn't able to see this crisscross um, closure here at first. If I would have seen that, it would have been a definite yes immediately. Um, but when I got home, that was a great surprise. So this is a very trendy kind of thing. The brand A Goldie, which is very popular denim brand. They have other clothing, but denim is their big seller. 
They made a crisscross jean very similar to this that was very, very popular and sought after. So Abercrombie & Fitch apparently has one. This is the dad high rise. And these are, when I got home and looked them up, I realized that these are a very current piece from Abercrombie. They are still selling online for, I believe, around $85. They're size 27 for short. So yeah, don't underestimate Abercrombie if it's a current piece and it has a very trendy cut or style to it. These will probably sell for around $40 to $50, I would say, just because you know they are still selling for $85-ish on the website. Okay, next, Leith, which is a house brand from Anthropology, size small. And I don't always pick up this brand, but this is a great kind of eggplant color for fall time. It's incredibly soft. This feels like the coziest yarn fabric from Madewell, which is like an alpaca blend. But this doesn't have alpaca wool in it, which is surprising because it, it's very soft. But it's a duster length, which is always a great seller for me, a great factor that helps items sell. It has side slits near the bottom hem. It's in great shape. So yeah, I think this is a great fall time piece, size small. Cloth and stone. Once again, I am kind of picky with cloth and stone, but this is an item that was sold with Anthropology. I know that because it has Anthropology on the tag. It's also a size large and it is a great style. So it's a plaid. Print. Again, super popular in fall time. We have the little tie closure at the bottom hem. So quite a few little interesting details with this top. I think that should sell pretty well. You know, if that were just a basic denim button down from Cloth and Stone, I probably would have left it behind, especially if it was like an extra small or small, just because the brand the demand for the brand definitely has slowed down a little bit, but I think a piece, this piece specifically, will sell pretty well. Another Bolo brand to be on the lookout for, Alex Mill. I believe this brand is sold at places like Nordstrom, and I think this is a men's tee. I could be wrong on that, but it's a slub cotton crew neck t-shirt in this really nice blue color, and this brand, I think it's a newer brand, I want to say, and people seem to really like it. The retail is pretty high. This t-shirt was probably about $65 retail. Okay, so the rest of this haul is going to be items that are, I believe they were all donated by either one person or maybe even a department store. I'm not sure because some of it is different sizing, um, but it all was in just a couple bins and I was going crazy just trying to pick it all up. You will see it definitely has, it all ties in together. And so let's go ahead and get into it. It's all very kind of higher end brands, very chic, contemporary, high fashion looks, and just some really amazing pieces. I was so excited this day when I was finding all this stuff. So let's go ahead and just get into that. So this first brand is Ivan Gruntal, and it is made in Copenhagen, size 38. I have sold this brand once before. The piece sold same day for, I wanna say around $50. Again, a brand to add to your list and try to familiarize yourself with this tag. It is a great seller on Poshmark, lots of solds for pretty high prices. And this is a great piece. It's very true to the brand. It's like lag and look, 100% linen. It has all of this cool, interesting texture strips added to it. I put a lot of keywords like steampunk, lag and look, um, I forget what else, but yeah, just a very nice piece there that probably retailed for hundreds of dollars. So this was another brand that I 
have never found before so super excited to see it the couples paris again very high end and i mean this is just such a cool piece to find not only is the brand great but i mean the style of this is just so cool it's 100 percent silk and it has this novelty kind of jaguar leopard print i'm not entirely sure what animal this is dramatic sleeves it is missing the lining is the only unfortunate thing but you know linings are or slips are pretty common so i'm not too worried about that it has this lace-up detail in front with three or four lace-ups going down the chest very very cool piece um very excited to get this off to a new home another beautiful dress and this one is actually new with tags i think this is a little bit more of an obscure brand i had never heard of it before and it doesn't look like there are a whole lot of items on the secondhand market it's called laura urbanati it's the brand there and this tag has a retail price of 535 dollars you can see that right there, 535. And this is called the Abito Maxi Dress. Really pretty print, this floral print. And when I was researching the brand, it said that all of the prints on their pieces are you know, hand drawn. It's a tiered maxi dress, really, really pretty piece. It's a silk blend made in Italy, so very excited to find that as well one more item from the same brand laura laura urbanati this is a hundred percent silk navy button down blouse top and you know you could dress this up or down wear it with dark skinny jeans or you could wear it to the office this is a size um i think this is a size 44 for, I think they both, I've measured them both and they both this top as well as the maxi dress measure like a size medium. Yeah, size 44. Next, an M.M. Lafleur dress, size 14 and it's long sleeve. M.M. Lafleur is an excellent brand to pick up. The resale value, it holds its resale value very well, especially with this being a size 14. It's in a great color. I believe this is super dark navy, almost black. The cut is very flattering. It's kind of hard to show. I do have this listed if you guys want to see that a little bit better. Okay, and then I stumbled upon a bin of very nice blazers and I'm just going to run through them pretty quickly. They're all kind of similar. So this was probably the most exciting one for me. It is the row, which this is without a doubt a tag to kind of tattoo into your brain. This blazer is, um, so the, the brand, the row is Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen's like runway line. This blazer retailed for probably a thousand maybe twelve hundred dollars very very expensive stuff this is called the schoolboy blazer it's three four sleeves it's a wool blend just so incredibly well made the quality is out of this world next very exciting find as well this is new with tags blazer and new with tags from barney's the the retail on this was $595. How cool is this blazer? Very contemporary cut with this neckline, kind of like a pointed detail at the neckline. And again, this is a wool blend blazer. Super gorgeous. The size on this, this is a size eight. Okay, and then I found 
three blazers from a brand I had never heard of before, but they were with these, so I knew to pick them up. And they also, the quality felt amazing as well. They're a wool blend. The brand is 6397, and each of these blazers retailed for around six to seven hundred dollars based on the research that I was doing. So this is just a plain black size small actually i think this one's navy black or navy two button blazer patch pockets just i mean they look like they were never worn this one's a size medium this one is a hundred percent wool black one button blazer with pockets and then the last one from this brand 6397 is again a wool blend this one is a size large that's why it's kind of interesting to me because you know three blazers in size small medium and large i think maybe barney's might have donated all of this stuff i could be wrong on that though this one's like a charcoal gray color again just i mean a great great piece and lastly i will end off with D denim lots of pairs of denim from i believe the same person or store um, really great high-end stuff this is the same brand 6397 that i was just showing you guys these are like a black camo printed jean cropped skinny jean these retail for again probably five to seven hundred dollars i would say they're a size 27 made in Italy same brand and these are a size 27 as well they're like a pinstripe gray color same cut skinny jean these this is the brand Mila Hermanovsky again I hadn't heard of this I believe this woman was on a TV show, one of the fashion TV show, competition TV shows. I could be wrong on that, but I believe so. Size medium, these are a pair of leggings and they have this contrast here, the white con or cream contrast is 100% lamb leather. So very high-end leggings here. And then a couple pairs of 100 jeans again not a brand that i really knew anything about but the tag was tacked on on either side and again it was with all this stuff so i did grab these as well just like a faded gray black color and then a classic blue jean with fading whiskering some distressing and these are a size forget what size size 30. so that is absolutely everything for my huge goodwill outlet haul i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i should have everything listed if you want to click on over to my closet i will leave the links down below and again thanks guys for watching i'll see y'all soon bye y'all